ball is popped into the second time. The end. Hi everybody. So here's the deal. I'm at the I'm at the Hollywood Bowl. I'm actually backstage at the Hollywood Bowl because here's what I am doing. Uh, I'd say about maybe halfway through the first act, I'll be going on stage doing a tribute to Mel Blanc, talking about how I got the job at Porky Pig. I'll be teaching 17,000 people how to do Porky Pig tonight. excitement that we are here tonight celebrating our official 25th anniversary with all of you and the greatest of the Warner Brothers characters are performing you tonight not only Bugs not only Elmer the incredible Roadrunner the incredible Coyote the world's greatest romantic singer no I'm not talking about Michael Buble I'm not talking about Josh Groban you're going to see Porky Pig no wait you're going to see Pepe Le Pew. So I actually think that's everybody. I don't think I've, I don't think I've left anybody out. There's, there's really nobody else that's going to... Adria, pardon me, George. What? If you're going to say my name, you're uh, going to have to have me come out. Oh, Porky, that's really, that was a mistake. You're really not in the show tonight. And I'm not on the show tonight. But I wore pants. <laughs> Well, we, we cut your cartoons out just for this time. It's, you know, kosher. Yeah, cut my cartoons <laughs> So is this either the, either the, that's all, folks? Ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, the official voice of Porky Pig from Warner Brothers, the one and the only, Bob Bergen. that happens with these cartoons is that all of us as children started loving these cartoons, started loving the music, started loving the characters, started loving everybody. And then we go off on our lives. Bob took it to a new high. Bob, what, what happened when you were a, a young man and you loved these cartoons? When I was five years old, I told my mom when I grew up I want to be Porky Pig. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what did she say to you? My mother said, honey, you can't be Porky Pig, you're Jewish. <laughs> but we used to eat bacon. Oh. But you did it anyway. We did, oh yeah, absolutely. So, all right, I wanted to be Porky Pig. My dad, I was lucky that my dad moved the, the family to LA when I was 14. So I thought, well, the best way to become Porky Pig is to call Mel Blanc and tell him I'm here and I'm happy to take over his job if he would like to retire, which I thought was very generous. So no, nobody would actually pick up the phone and, and call Mel Blanc, right? I had a stack of white page phone books from Malibu to Burbank and I called every blank in the book. Now, for those of you in the audience who may not understand this, there used to be these things called phone books. <laughs> and they used to have white pages in them and you could go down and you could say blank. That's right. That's right. And I found his number uh, under his wife's name at the Pacific Palisades. Uh, I called him up. I taped the conversation, which is 100% illegal. Don't do this at home, kids. But if you go to my website, you can hear that conversation. And during the course of the conversation, he mentioned the name of the studio he was working at that week. He didn't say the day or the time, but he mentioned the name. So when I was done with him, I, I, called, uh, I called the studio pretending to be his assistant. And I said, hi, I'm calling to confirm Mr. Blank's appointment for Thursday at 9. And they said, we've got him on the books for Wednesday at 11. And I said, oh, that's right, I'm looking at the wrong date. So I told my mom, I'm skipping school on Wednesday, we're gonna go watch Mel Blank work. She said, cool. So we got to the studio, I told the receptionist that we were guests of Mel Blank. <laughs> and she said, he's in there, and I said, thank you. And I walked into his recording studio, I told his producer that we were friends with the receptionist, and she said, have a seat. <laughs> this is the way it works in Hollywood, so. <laughs> thank you. Uh, and I, I studied acting, I studied voiceover, and I was in the business at the time that Warner Brothers held auditions. And, and as the rest, as they say, the, 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 rest, the rest is history. Well, one of the things that, 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 that Bob does, besides being one of the foremost animation voiceover artists in the business today, is that he teaches students and young actors how to do great animation voices. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to be Bob's students, and he is going to teach you how to do Porky. So, 
All right, here's the thing, folks. I've done this for an audience up to 100 people. This is a little bit bigger, so I need, I need you to cooperate, and I need unison. But by the time this is over, we will have 17,000 porky pigs in this audience. All right? First of all, every word is the exact same formula. Everybody say, the, on the count of three, say the word boy. One, two, three. Boy. They did that really well. They did that They pretty. did. Okay, now I'm going to teach you to porky boy up, okay? So it helps if you count it out with your fingers. If you don't do this, you're going to go crazy, all right? So go, eh? Eh. Eh, ba? Eh, ba? Eh, this is good. Eba be e. Eba be e. boy. Eba be e. boy. Thank you. Okay, we're doing one. Watch, watch me, and then you're gonna repeat. Eba be e. boy. Eba be e. boy. The musicians are doing it too. It's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, so wrinkle your nose so it sounds kind of nasal. All right, and go and watch me first. All right. Eba be e boy. Good. On the th we're gonna do it again on the third sound. Push it a little bit more. Eba be e boy. Okay, great. I'm gonna do another word. Ready? Uh, the word uh, catch. I'll, I'll do it first. Eka ke e catch. One more word. Dog. Eda de e dog. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna do the full sentence. When I'm done, you repeat. Ready? The boy played a catch with a dog. Go. I still have a job. You still have a job. Bob Bergen. Thanks, guys. And thank you, Bob Bergen.